Hey, what's up guys? This is our fifth video and we are gonna take a look at the bacon and cipher today. Wait, what? Bacon? Nah, it's definitely not bacon, but the bacon and cipher. But why does it have such a weird name? That's because it's named after its inventor, Sir Francis Bacon. Ah, so is it user friendly? Oh yes, it definitely is. However, this cipher offers very little communication security as it is a substitution cipher. As such, all the methods used to crypto analyze substitution cipher can be used to break back in ciphers. The main advantage of the cipher is that it allows the hiding of a fact that a message has been sent at all, because the any message of the right length can be used to carry the encoding. The secret message is effectively hidden in plain sight. The false message can be on any topic and thus can distract a person seeking to find the real message. To get a clearer picture, I will show you what does this mean in the later part of this video. Okay, now let's take a look at how Baconian Cipher works. To encode a message using Baconian Cipher, each letter of the plain text is replaced by a group of 5 letters consisting A and B. Baconian Cipher works like any other substitution ciphers which make it easy to crack but user friendly. This is the key for encryption and decryption of Baconian Cipher. Simply replace the letters in your original message with the groups of 5 letters. For example, chat will be A-A-A-B-A-A-A-A-A-A-B-A-A-B-A when encrypted with Bacon and Cypher. A word with 3 letters will have 15 encrypted letters. Now, I should show you what do I mean by hiding a secret message in a normal, totally unrelated sentence. For example, cat, I have a total of 15 A's and B's. Hence, we form a sentence that consists of 15 letters and they will represent the A's and B's. Therefore, we have to differentiate the writing style of the letters. In this case, I italicize letters that represent A and wrote normally for those that represent B's. Any other method of differentiation can be used as long as it's not too obvious. Now, let's proceed to try out an example on decrypting a message encrypted by a Baconian cipher. This is the encrypted text, as you can see in the video. So, firstly, let's break down the string of letters now, match the encrypted text to the original text and the message is decode bacon. Did you get it right? Well, hope the practice example has made the concept of bacon and cipher much clearer. Thanks for watching this week's video and if you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and remember to visit our Facebook page in the description below to learn more about cryptography. Don't forget to press the like button. Thanks!